Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum friends. I am Abdul Matin Junas representing masterji.com. Today we are going to discuss an other interesting topic with you that is memory of a computer. Before starting our video, I request my viewers kindly subscribe my channel and press that bell icon so that they can get my new uploaded videos easily. Now moving towards our lecture. First of all we will see what is a memory then we will discuss its types first what is a memory a memory is just like a human brain it is used to store data and instructions computer memory is the storage space in the computer where data is to be processed and instructions required for processing are stored the memory is divided into large number of small parts called cells. Each location or cell has a unique address, which varies from 0 to memory size minus 1. For example, if the computer has 64k words, then this memory unit has 64 multiplied by 1024 is equal to 65,536 memory locations. The address of these location varies from 0 to 65,535. And then types of a memory. Memory is primarily of three types. Cache memory, primary memory or main memory. Secondary memory. First we will see what is a cache memory. Cache memory is the very high speed semiconductor memory which can speed up the CPU. It acts as a buffer between the CPU and the main memory. It is used to hold those parts of data and programs which are most frequently used by the CPU. The parts of data and programs are transferred from the disk to cache memory by the operating system from where the CPU can access them. And the advantages of cache memory are cache memory is faster than main memory it consumes less access time as compared to main memory. It stores the program that can be executed within a short period of time. And then it stores data for temporary use. The disadvantages of cache memory are as follow. Cache memory has limited capacity and it is very expensive. You can also see the pic of cache memory that is shown on your screen so that you can develop a better understanding of cache memory. Now the second type of memory is primary memory or main memory. Primary memory holds only those data and instructions on which the computer is currently working. It has a limited capacity and data is lost when power is switched off. It is generally made up of semiconductor device. These memories are not as fast as registers. The data and instructions required to be processed resides in the main memory. It is divided into subcategories that is ROM and RAM. RAM stands for random access memory and ROM stands for read only memory. The characteristics of main memory include these are semiconductor memories. It is also known as main memory. It is also known as volatile memory. Data is lost in case power is switched off. It is the working memory of the computer and it is faster than secondary memories. A computer cannot run without the primary memory. And similarly you can also see the pic of primary memory that is placed on your screen so that you can develop a better understanding. And the third memory is secondary memory. This type of memory is also known as external memory or non-volatile. It is slower than the main memory. These are used for storing data or information permanently. CPU directly does not access these memories. Instead, they are assessed via input or output routines. The contents of secondary memories are first transferred to the main memory and then the CPU can assess it. For example, disk, CD-ROM, DVD. Its characteristics include These are magnetic and optical memories. It is also known as backup memory. It is a non-volatile memory. Data is permanently stored even if the power is switched off. It is used for storage of data in a computer. Computer may run without the secondary memory. 
load than primary memory is and also you can see the pick of secondary memory that is shown on your screen so that you can also develop a better understanding of these memories so friends this is our lecture that is memories of computer if you have any query or you want to give us any suggestion kindly comment us below inshallah we will meet you in the next lecture with a new topic that's it khuda hafiz